wonder how Zephyr's doing. If that law guy is his son, they Apple shouldn't be rough with him. I want to believe that. But those two didn't look like they're exactly on good terms. Actually, now I'm curious. Can Danons enlist in the Snake Eyes too? Definitely. They're useful for surveillance here. Doesn't win you many friends on either side, though. So why is Zephyr's kid working for the Renans, then? You don't win friends with Salad. You don't win friends with Salad. You don't win friends with Salad. Magic practice. All of creation across the heavens stems from the six essences. We lack only darkness while they are without light. Thus, to achieve perfection. What are you muttering over there? I was practicing a magic incantation. Okay. An incantation? Is it anything like the spells that people use today? Not quite. It takes time for me to finish my chants, so I'm practicing saying them quickly and accurately. You know, just in case. I've always tried my best never to use magic if I can avoid it up until now. You said you and your family used to live in hiding, right? Because you were a mage. Where did all the other mages go? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't realize it was such a sensitive topic. Hmm. It's okay. Ties that bind. Hey, so, uh, about my magic. You want to keep it a secret, right? Yeah. Sorry. A little late for that after what happened in the village, don't you think? Don't you think? <sighs> Easy, Shion. It's just... Hmm? I didn't want Zephyr to die. That's why I used it. I know. And we might have lost him without your help. So thank you, Rinwell. Sure. <laughs> Poodle. Poodle had to put his two cents in. Blending in. Is that owl okay? It's been stiff as a board for a while now. You're right. I wonder what's up with it. Come here. It's okay. I won't hurt you. <laughs> Crap. Oh my god. Huh? What happened? I hate to say this, Rinwell, but I lost Hoodle. I didn't mean to scare him, but he took off. Hoodle? He's right next to you. He is. All I see is snow. Dan and owls conceal themselves when they feel threatened. I guess he's still not quite used to being around other people yet. That would explain it. I should have been more careful with him. Sorry. It's fine. I'm the only human he's comfortable with. Come here, Hoodle. <laughs> Damn, he was that close? He's just a little wary of you. I think he gets that you're going to be with us for a while, though. Step in the right direction. If you call his name, he might eventually respond, at least. Got it. Thanks. At least he's not sick or something. Indeed. It's quite a relief. Hmm. Poodle! Poodle's adorable. Vermin, vermin, vermin! Come into the house! Poodle finding Danny. Pan and Owls. Cherry Rarity, Enhanced Accessories, Crafting Accessories, Metal Engraver, Healing Lights. You know how it is. Special boost strikes. Shut up! Physical ailments. When an enemy lands an attack that can inflict an ailment, each hit will increase the potential for infection. If hit too many times, you'll be inflicted with it and need to cure with either an art or an item. Or wait for it to dissipate. Types of physical ailments. Poison! POISON PILLS! Gradually decrease HP over time. Paralysis. Chance of flinching when performing an action. Freeze. Unable to move for a while. Curse. Lowers endurance. Raises damage taken. No, all ailments reduce AG recovery to 50%. Oh wow, that's no good. I think there's also mental ailments, but I guess we'll get into that. 
Rinwell's fighting style. Rinwell is a long distance fighter who primarily r relies on astral arts. She's a mage. Though her arts are strong and have a wide reach, casting them takes time, so make sure to get some distance between her and the enemy before attempting any arts. Rinwell's auto mode. When auto mode is enabled, Rinwell will primarily target enemies with lower HP during combat. Kurio. Bum ba dum. We got a third character. Okay. Ah! So now she's over there, I suppose. Boost attack, magic, cancel. Tool to activate... To activate. Interrupts an enemy's incantation and charges their art. Kudio, man. Kudio, I say. I said Kudio! God damn it. Secret of the Stars! <laughs> she is a copy of Secret of the Stars for the SNES. She may be the coolest person that ever lived. I'm telling ya. A book of arts containing elementary astral arts. Only those belonging to a certain lineage can discern its contents. And of course we have this, which is like her powered up thing. Look at that thing! Ho ho ho! A precious text passed down in Rinwell's Mage Clan. Inside are reams of information on ancient cer ceremonies and arts, among other things. So attack up by 34, elemental attack up by 62, penetration up by 41. Do 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 do. Inherited coat. Clothing passed down from generation to generation among a mage clan. Rich in history, power is woven into the very fabric itself. Kurio. Accessory, we can give you something. I don't freaking know, man. Guess we'll give you the Alexander, right? Might as well. Outfit. We get to see her outfits now. Golden hairpin. A golden hairpin shaped like a butterfly that keeps the wearer's hair under control while still making them look a little fashionable. Oh boy. Parted bob cut. Okay. It, it's pretty much the same thing, ju just without the hair clip. <laughs> Rinwell's normal hairstyle. Cut short, it always looks glossy and silky smooth. It does. Demonic cap A. Okay. A hairstyle for the warring states. Debated whether to put pom-poms on the headgear. Okay. Demonic cap B. Demonic cap C. Different variations. Swimming hair A. <laughs> a hairstyle for seaside fun. Now that my hair is done up nicely, it's time for a swim. Pigtail beret A. <laughs> a hairstyle for attending school. Picked up a nice beret at a New Year's sale downtown. <laughs> Fun. Got different color variations. The beret has been put back in the closet, seeing as it's too hot to wear for summertime classes. <laughs> Love this game. Ceremonial Owl Cap. Hmm. A ceremonial... Blah, 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 blah. A ceremonial cap passed down in Rinwell's Mage Clan. Boodle can often be found resting comfortably inside it. Hmm. Colorful Session Hair. A hairpiece from the Idol Master, Starlit Season. I don't know what that is, but I think that's some kind of collaboration thing. No outfit is complete without the right accessory. With this, anyone can be a true idol. Except for Vegastar. Inherited kill. See, we got Demonic Stole, A. Eh? I guess this is like her samurai thing. She can be a geisha! Didn't you know? 
Attire from a period where nations were at war. If only this had an owl tengu to go with it. Nah. <laughs> Different variations of it. Do 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 do. Wrap scallion swimsuit A. Eh? She's ready to go for a swim! Highly elastic attire for seaside fun. This would never fly back home, that's for sure. Yeah, l let's wear this in the snow. That would make sense, wouldn't it? <laughs> Another variation. Another variation. She's got flip-flops. <laughs> Owl uniform A. Eh? Oh, boy. Attire customarily worn at places called schools. Trying to make owl items a trend around campus. Eh. That's pretty cute. Another variation. Another variation. Sailor Moon style. Ceremonial owl garb. My lord. Ceremonial garb passed down in Rinwell's mage clan. It seems the ceremony was important in her family and took two people to perform. She really goes the distance with the whole owl deal. I actually do kind of like the way that looks, though. Honestly. Colorful Session. This is the, the one thing again. An outfit from the Idol Master, Starlit Season. Put on a thrilling performance, bursting with an array of dazzling colors. <laughs> so we can kind of see what they look like together. So that kind of goes with that. <laughs> She's an idol now and such. That looks cool. I kind of like that. I might put that on at some point. It's kind of cool. Owl uniform A. Tail bright A. Bum bum bum. B. B. I, I don't know if those technically go, go together, but what you gonna do? C. C. Eh. It's funny. Scallion swimsuit C. Swimming hair C. Going for a swim. Do -do 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 B. As we're matching and such. That's what we're doing. Yeah. Demonic stole C. Demonic cap C. Kind of cool to have the different matching things, though. Du -du 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 -du. I think we're going to have this for now. Weapon skin. Eh. The owl book. Secret of the stars. Frame glasses would probably actually work for her, honestly. A monocle. Meh. <laughs> Add it. Bum, 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 bum. No, I don't want to do that, sir. Friend, well... Alright, let's set up her arts. I want to try out some of her stuff. Air thrust. Dun dun dun. We'll try them in order, of course. Photon flash. Ground attack age one light strike fires out exploding photon bullets. She has spread as well. Sharpness. Spread a beginner water art that spews out water out of the ground. She doesn't have any aerial attacks. That sucks. What's up with that, man? Oh, what was I gonna do? Uh, oh, right, we need to look at her titles. <laughs> look at those glasses. That's amazing. 
Du, 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 confirm titles. Danon Mage. Despite being Danon, Rinwell comes from a clan of astral art wielding mages. A secret she kept hidden until the time was right. Item Scholar. Full of boundless curiosity, Rinwell can't help but wonder where and when things are made. As she examines the item, she comes across on the road. Uh, I like how now it's snowing in the background of the menu. That's kind of cool. Dark Crow Demon, a monster that flies with a mysterious power. Would love to teach you how great crows are. Okay. Serious Swimmer Girl, an avid reader born in a dark, snowy land. Today she'll close her book and challenge the sunny sea. And Vivacious Schoolgirl, a schoolgirl who makes the most of school life. Loves getting sweets with friends after school. Alrighty then. Messia 224. A freezing village tucked away in Cislodia, constantly wary of the presence of threat, either from the secret police or else inf informants within their own ranks. The, re the, blah, 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 blah. the residents don't give up their trust easily. Well, neither do I. Hmm. Mage. The name given to a minority of Danans able to wield astral arts. They were victims of persecution from even before the Renan invasion, prompting them to go into hiding. Nowadays, their existence is largely unknown. Bureau of Civil Observation. I got distracted. Bureau of Civil Observation, a highly feared secret police organization that reports directly to Lord Ganabelt. Known commonly as the Snake Eyes, it counts among its members Dan and informants who report back news of any planned uprisings. Alrighty then. Freaking fly! I don't know how this fly even got in here, but it's freaking pissing me off, dude. Pissing me off. Pursuing Zephyr. After surprise reunion with his son, Law, Marshal Law, mind you, Zephyr is arrested. Not one to leave him behind, the party follows after him under Rinwell's guidance. Their destination, the realm capital, Cisloden. Fun. Oh, there's a new enemy. Civil Observation Bureau Agent, level 13. 2410 HP. Drops Iron Dog Tag and Apple Gel. Uh, an enforcer from Cislodia's widely loathed Bureau of Civil Observation, colloquially known among locals as Snake Eyes. Like Renan armored soldiers, they use both firearms and explosives, and are especially fond of attacking from behind like cowards. Yeah, well... Dun, 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 dun. We need to fight more Berserkers and get that Demi-Human Talon. That's what we need to do, so we can make those weapons. Bureau Agent Law. 27,720 HP. I'm not even sure if you could actually attack him in that fight. A young man working for Cislodius Bureau with apprehending dissidents. An outstanding fighter who uses all four of his limbs as his weapons. He unleashes string after string of attacks, like it's mere demonstration, unfettered by any counterattack that come his way. He also has sexy purple hair. Well, he does. Are you telling me he doesn't? Because he totally does, you know. 99 consumables. Magical flower that raises the carrying capacity for consumable items to 99. Its crystallized astral energy form gives it a violet glow. You damn right it does. Okay. Look at me go! I'm a mage, didn't you know? I'm a badass mage who wears glasses and reads books all day. Yay! All right. Can we make any new weapons for you? Cause that'd be pretty cool. Da, 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 da. We need Razor Tip. No, we need Beast Mane for you. And for you, we need Demi Human Talon. And Bizarre Mega Core. Two books for you, but we can't make either of them. Because we need the 
We, we need an astral crystal fragment and a bizarre mega core. Damn you! I know how you forge books. That doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, but okay. Let's just go with it. Let's just pretend it makes sense, shall we? Whoa, settle down, Beavis. Iron chunk. Create accessory. You're the lucky one. Maybe we should, uh... Bum ba bum. Alexandrite. Wait, can you upgrade what what's equipped or do you have to take it off? Yeah, you can, okay, cool. Alexandrite. See if we can put some other stuff on it. So I think that the skills it shows are possible things that you could end up putting on. Thorn or put a thorn or on it. Double mass. Enhancement complete! Very good. I kinda like this whole system though. I like it. So what did we add to that? Light dark damage down by 50%, dark damage up by 7.5%. Works for me. Okay. Wanna fight some more of those one dudes? The Berserkers. Gotta break through. Doing well. If it's in the sky, it's mine. mine. Here I Ready go. Cascade. It's over. Fred. This was the Red 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 around us. I never miss. Fire's attack in the water. Hear my call. Sharpness. 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 Sharpness and such. Tomato, tomato. I kind of like her whole hood deal. But an opponent like this should be easy. Water, photon flare. I like how she dodges. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Level edge already. She's in level 14. I didn't even pay attention to her level, but, you know. Do -do 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 -do. She has no air attack. She's not really an aerial fighter, I guess. Air Thrust, Wind Strike, Medic Charge, Crossblade. A beginner wind art that fires sharp gusts of wind, slicing and dicing foes. Sharpness, Medic Charge, Sharpness All. Freeze Lancer. Thunderblade! There is a Tales of Fantasia move. Light Strike, Medic Charge, Holy Lance. A beginner light art that shoots a bolt of lightning along the ground, tearing it open. I guess Photon Flash doesn't actually have a charge thing. Crossblade. Arrow Squall. Water Strike. An intermediate water art that shoots streams of water like arrows from above. Can also do Tidal Wave. Well. Isn't that a fine how do you, how do, you do? Okay. 
Okay. Enemies who can cast astral arts can be pretty difficult. Not only are they powerful, but their range lets them strike us before we even get close. Actually, I can just disrupt astral arts. What do you mean? When someone is casting an art, their focus has to be entirely on the incantation. So right when they're completing the casting, I just kind of steal it from them. <laughs> then what do you do with the energy you've stolen? I hold on to it and use it whenever I want, like I can with my own magic. The thing is, I can only unleash that art once. After I use it, it's gone. Oh, also, when I steal astral energy, the enemy will lose focus, which means they can't cast anything else for a while. So not only can you steal their energy, but doing so incapacitates them too? That's amazing, Rinwell. I didn't realize your magic could do so much. It's actually something of a secret technique within my clan, so I kind of had to learn it. Well, if we come across any tough enemies that use incantations, I'm sure that power of yours will come in real handy. Yeah, it's tricky to pull off, but you can count on me. <laughs> I can jump! I can jump. I can jump. No. Firmament render shall escape my judgment. Arrow squall. Arrow squall. Do it. Lightning condemn. I'm not so good with airborne targets. Thunderblade. Dance in the wind. You got fire. I've got this. Air thrust. I'm not fortunate handling. All yours. Noise. Kick Maybe a blip on our radar. Let's see what else we got. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Gusty Nail, an intermediate wind art that rips enemies apart with fierce claws made of howling wind. Magic charge cyclone. Divine streak, which has no charge. An advanced light art that fires a large beam of light for an extended period of time. That's all she's got. Do, 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 do. Bum, ba, bum, ba, bum, ba, bum. Apples. Where's that berserker? I wanna fight him so we can try and get that material. Hi, Hoodle. Okay. Hear me, flame of death! Please Please strike! Water. Hear my call! Spread! Rising wiper! Dusty Nail! I don't think I can do, uh... Di Our divine work is done Streak. Here. Let's move. I'm right behind you, Shion. I don't think she has enough AG or something. I don't know. We'll try that again. Would you get out of here, you stupid fly? Yeah, I don't know how that damn fly even got in here. There's the enemy we want. We need to drop that demi human component thing. I won't forgive you. Yeah, see, see, you, see you can actually use them. It's like trying to keep up with a wolf. Dusty nail. Do it. Not on my watch. Easter. Fire the passion. Course in the blade. Darkness. Yeah, she can't actually use that ability for some Nicely reason. Done. We just got Sharp Fang, of course. Ah. Let me 
see that. Let's see, it takes four AG. She, she has three, so she can't actually use that yet, apparently. That's lame. We're getting close to leveling up with, with Mirage. Sounds cool. Da -da. Yeah, AG4, 5. Yeah, see, she has 3, so you need more AG before you can uh, do anything with that. Light Strike, Wind Strike, Water Strike. Huh. That's interesting. What is. There. Enduro or I want that component, but Mr. Freaking Dildo, dude, won't drop it. And there's like literally only one fight with him, which is annoying. Potato, potato, potato. the secret of the stars on for now. What the? Okay, I didn't even see them coming. Go no further! Thunderblade. Hardbone. Dun, 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 dun. Keep going. I thought this was going to go into the next area. Woo, woo, woo. There you are. That thing is really helpful. Because I probably never would have woo, seen that. Woo, woo. Left eye patch. There we go. A covering meant to be worn over the left eye to conceal injuries. Although many like wearing it simply because it looks cool. Totally. Woo, Be woo, woo. Beto style. Woo. Looks like we spotted one of Hoodle's friends. Dun, 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 dun. Last eye patch. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Ooh. Messia two two four. 